Hey everyone, this is Kayla from Anima. I'm one of the designers on our customer success team, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get started using the Anima plugin for Adobe XD. Let's start by downloading the plugin from the plugins page in our web app. In the Adobe Marketplace, click on Install, OK, and Open XD. Now when we're in Adobe XD, we can open up our plugins and select Anima. Make sure you're logged into your Anima account, and then you're set up to take a look around. Under the Prototype tab in the Anima plugin, you'll see all of the prototype features you can add using Anima, in addition to the native XD features which Anima supports as well. You can make your prototypes more interactive and impressive by adding hover effects, entrance animations, different types of media like videos, GIFs, and Lotties, embedded code snippets, form submit buttons, links, Adobe fonts, parallax scroll effects, and material design components from our widget library, such as checkboxes, drop-down menus, and live text fields. Next is our responsive tab. This is where you can add multiple breakpoints to your designs. Check out our video about breakpoints attached in the description to learn more. If you'd like to export your design's code before previewing, first, make sure you're using an Anima Pro account. Then you can go to the Get Code tab and choose which code framework you'd like to export into, HTML, React, or Vue. Once you're satisfied with your design, you can choose to preview it or go straight to sync directly from the plugin. Don't forget that whatever effects you've added with the plugin will only display in Anima's preview or sync projects and not in XD's preview. Now let's select the artboards we want to preview from our design. From this preview window, you can check out your design and make sure everything is working properly. Once we're satisfied, click Sync to Project. We will be asked to select your team or workspace and your project. Find the relevant workspace and then either choose an existing project or create a new one. We'll go ahead and sync and there you have it. Our project is now synced and saved inside our Animal web app. From here, we can play our prototype, make comments, view the code to see the code for different elements, or if you're using a pro account, click on export code to hand all of this off to your developer. And that's how we get started using Anima with Adobe XD. If you like what you see, give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more. Don't forget to check out our other videos to learn more about how to use each of Anima's prototype features, like collaborating with your teammates, inserting media, and more. Thanks for watching.